The incident took place here in the Student Union, where members of the university rugby team were drinking and having fun on graduation night, dressed as priests and carrying a Bible. At the end of the night, there was evidence of a torn up Bible on the dance floor. Members of the men's rugby team admitted that they were involved in tearing up of it, although they didn't mean it in a malicious way, uh, so the team were given a venue ban. However, Chaplain Phil Dykes thinks that a ban from the student union is just not enough. I think by giving them a light response, a light punishment if you like, means almost in a sense we are ducking our responsibilities. I suppose I was disappointed, I was disappointed in the rugby players really. There is some talking needs to be done between them and someone else, maybe me, maybe me and the student union. But members of the rugby team feel that their punishment is adequate. I think it definitely was harsh enough. Ten weeks suspension from the from the event for just for damage to uh, the Bible. We had no intention of upsetting or hurting anyone's feelings. We regret what we did, but um, I think we, we pay for our mistakes. We what we did was wrong, and we accept that. I think there is a way forward, and I don't won't hold it against them. Um, but I do think um, if I were to say, if I were to say it's okay, it doesn't matter, you can carry on, you know, let's all forget it, let's um, forgive and forget, I don't think that's the answer either. So what is the answer? Further meetings are scheduled between the people involved, but as it stands, no further action is to be taken against the team. Andrew Giddings for Winchester News Online.